Please don't copyright me. I hope you know I spent an hour editing that, so you better subscribe for my pain. Happy New Year. New Year. Still hate everything. Hi friends, my name is Farmer's Market today. I think everyone by now knows of the game Among Us. For those of you who don't know, it's like Mafia. There's 10 people usually, and there's two imposters. And you talk in discussions, and you lie a lot, and you lose friends, and you get mad at each other. It's a great game. Very healthy for relationships. I play a good amount of it on Twitch. I live stream a lot, so if you want to see my gameplay, it's also right here. And I wanted to paint something for it because I think the art is easy. You don't have to be Van Gogh to do this. The art itself is already very simple. It's like five colors only. And I got a lot of these. I got like eight of these left. So I would like to get rid of them. I debated for a while on what to draw until one day Among Us tweeted this. Something about this. <laughs> I can't look at it without laughing. Something about this just intrigued me so much because first of all, it's a reference to SpongeBob. And if you watch the streams, you know that my username in Among Us is always Bussy. Look at this big Bussy. Which I'm so sorry to all the parents. Click away now. It means boy that there. So that's enough of that. Let's not talk about that word anymore. Oh God, I feel so awkward right now. I don't want to explain why I came to be, but suddenly it's my username and I think this is appropriate for it. My character wears a bucket hat and is always yellow and I think it'd be pretty cute to have it right here. I'm gonna see if I can draw it today and I'm going to do it this way. And yes, I actually brought home all of my paint in a plastic bag from college, which is very heavy and it took up so much space in the duffel bag, so you're welcome. First off, I need to sketch this out. This is the boring part, so Cue bad time lapse. <laughs> you know what's popping besides this pussy? My back. Lick my Look at this position. <laughs> my spine. Oh. Oh my god, look how long my hair is. <gasps> Oh, it's hard to see, but here's my sketch so far. And I'm gonna finally take your tip. Everyone has told me about this, but I keep forgetting. I'm gonna spray this down with some sealer. Any generic type of coating that you put on, you can, you can use hairspray too, just to prevent the paint from mixing with the lead. So I brought all my paints with me, except I forgot a palette. So I need to go find one. These sheets of paper are gonna have to do the trick. So obviously we need yellow for my character. We're gonna need highlights for the yellow and Shadows, I'll probably use brown for the shadow and mix it with yellow. Blue, black, I don't have green, but I can mix green, but we're gonna do that. Some weird shade of purple. I think that's, oh, you just need six colors for this. Oh, hear that? That's a sound. You know what, just so I don't mess up, I'm gonna mark where everything is. This is yellow, this is a highlight, this is a shadow. There, we can't mess this up. So starting off with yellow, I want mine to be a little bit more golden, so I'm going to add just one drop. And I swear, I mean one drop of orange. There. And I'm just gonna try to paint everything besides the black outline, so then it's easy for me to trace. For the digital artists out there, this is hashtag FDD700. Yes, I memorized my favorite color and code. I can see through it. We're gonna need two layers already, but it's okay. This is an easy painting. There's no raging. This is just calm, very calm. Ooh, look at that. So I wanted to talk while I'm painting because this this is easy. I have to do two layers. We're gonna be here for a while. I wanna talk about some games because uh, I feel like I don't talk to you guys about the fact that outside of YouTube, I am streaming every day. And I've played games longer than I've done videos for a while now. It started with Pokemon and then it turned into MapleStory and then Minecraft. I had a Lenovo laptop that ran Minecraft for 10 frames. And I got Optifine and it gave me 15 frames and I was like, ooh, I need to hold this to get precision, sorry. That all started back in like elementary school. I didn't really hang out with friends outside of school. We didn't really live near each other. I only had a next door neighbor, which turned out, we know, we're not gonna talk about it. So I had like two gamer friends that I always played every game with. It eventually turned into CSGO. Then I got a DS and that's when I learned Animal Crossing Wild World, which was like, Whoa, wow, that's a great game. Love it to death every day. I also got Fossil Fighters because these were all games that were like $10 at GameStop at the time. They were discounted because no one would buy them. And who wouldn't buy Fossil Fighter? It's such a good game. Oh, I also was on the Facebook gaming scene back when Facebook had games. I played really bad ones like Pet Pet Park, Monster Galaxy, um, some 
aquarium thing. I forgot what it's called. I'll look it up. And I spend a good eight hours every day playing games instead of like doing anything productive with my life. Obviously, I played all the Pokemon games. Generation 4 was the best. And then I got a 3DS and I played like all the other Pokemon games like Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky, which was the best game ever of all time. And then that's when I started focusing on YouTube. But I never thought about Twitch streaming until like three years ago, I started streaming New Horizons, and then I streamed Minecraft, and now I just do like all of the above. I have a gaming channel too, if you don't know. No one knows probably, because I don't talk about it. And I just do it because like, it's more fun to me than YouTube, I feel like. You don't have to edit as long, and I can talk to you all more, which is easier. Instead of like, a thousand people on a YouTube live stream where the chat is just spammed, I can like, actually have a conversation with people, which is how it was when I did you know streams, but then uh, that that died. How do we like it so far? I'm gonna add shadows now, and I heard from a little friend, the easiest way to add shadow is to add brown instead of black, especially for warmer colors, because then it doesn't make it gray and dirty looking. I'm gonna add brown, and I'm gonna mix yellow until it gets to the color I want it to be. And if I could choose streaming over YouTube, I'd probably choose Twitch. To be honest, I don't know. I think I just like games more in general. He's a gamer. He always was a gamer. And doesn't mean I can't like do art on streams. Like I've done drawing streams before. <laughs> oh. oh. Ew, it's so accurate. <laughs> I could do painting streams if I knew how to set that up, but we are not there yet. So yeah, that's how I got into games. And that's why I love Among Us so much because you can just play with your friends and you can murder them until they hate you. But let me know if you guys know any of the games I've played. I mean, obviously like I'm older, I'm gonna be 20 this year. Y'all are probably like learning how to walk at this point. So I don't think that you would know Maple Story of all things, but people might surprise me, who knows? I think that's an okay color. It might be too dark. Is that too dark? I think it is. I think, I, yeah, it's a bit dark, love. My back is also gonna die today. I'm going back to New York in a few weeks, probably like less than two, less than three. <laughs> because as much as I love being home, and as much as I said I would never want to leave here, I'm starting to get tired of it in the way that I wake up at 3 p.m. and my body physically doesn't wake up until like 2 because it turns off the alarm and I can't do anything about it, which sucks. So now I'm just putting in the shadows. There's a lot of room for error. You can mess up totally and go out of the lines and you'll be saved because thankfully Among Us has thick black outlines. <laughs> oh, my hands are getting bleh, no. This freaking paintbrush sucks. I don't know why I'm looking at the reference. This is like the most straightforward thing to do. I'm just paranoid still. I'm also taking my good time doing this, even though I know I should not care. Cause I literally can mess up as much as I want and it'll probably look the same. Okay, gonna have to do two layers of that as well because that is patchy. I'm on my third layer, kind of getting annoyed. I already know what route this is gonna go down. I should've erased the pencil more, because you always tell me to, but I forgot, I'm sorry. Sorry, <laughs> I always make that mistake. I don't mean to either. I'm just stubborn and arrogant, and I refuse to change my ways, but that benefits you, because you get good entertainment, don't you? I think the sun's going down, I think it is. It's literally gonna go down before I finish this painting. Okay, for the highlight, we just need white. Just a little bit of white. <gasps> no! Oh, I'm so dumb. Can you see that? There's white. Yeah. It, it spilled. So we have a pastel yellow now, which is appearing as white on camera. Don't you hate it when YouTubers do that? Guys, in person, it's so much different. This pink just looks like blue on camera, but it's not, I'm telling you. Please buy my product, I swear it's not blue. Maybe that's why I'm not friends with YouTubers. Am I wrong though? Like, do do they not? Do we not do that? Also, I wonder how many bitches are still gonna do the day blink of blink. Cause a lot of people, a lot of people did day ones, but they never do day twos or beyond. There's our highlight, looking like a shiny lemon. <laughs> also, I should have done the background first. My bad. Don't be mad at me. Now I have to do the helmet, and that is this blue mixed with some white. <gasps> No, I messed up. I'm gonna do something risky. I'm gonna add one drop of black to this mixture because it's way too saturated. That's too much. Oh no. No, I messed it up. I messed it up. Okay, you know what that means. Montage of me mixing colors until it works. Let the mixing begin. Okay, low key, I think I got it. Hold on. Right? Then we let that dry forever. While I'm here, I'm gonna do this background because it's basically the same color as this. 
Oh my god, my arm. Wow, I'm good. For balancing, that's pretty good. Oh Jesus, don't scare me like that. Oh my god. All right, next up, we need a lighter color above it. I don't like that. Nah, it's too late. I can't fix it. While I'm here, I can work on this because I'm pretty sure it's just a yellow bucket hat. Mm, this is a terrible brush for this. We need precision up in here. Precision. And then finally, we're gonna add just a line of, oh no. Finally, we're gonna add just a little bit of white. Just the highlight. That's cute. And now I've used up all my brushes, so we're gonna have to let this dry while I go wash these. So these are all the colors I use. This is basically done now. This is still drying, so I'm gonna work on the pink down here. I need a new palette. This is me about to eat dinner. So this purple is like some weird magenta with black. So like this. Oh God, it's so much black. No, why are you so, so, so it looks cool so overpowering black this is literally black i put two drops of black that means we need white <laughs> okay as you can tell i'm not good at color matching this did not work either so i'm gonna restart we're gonna start off with the magenta and i'm going to add this i'm going to mix this to this okay this is closer still needs to be brighter <laughs> I think this is the closest we're gonna get. I'm good with this. Yeah, that's the best we're gonna get. So there's some here and there's some here. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, this is gonna require layers too. Okay, I know what that means. That means we zoom out because this is just boring, painting one color. A little update on my life. I'm currently trying to graduate in three more semesters. In America, because I know a lot of people don't understand our education system, like me, college students usually go through four years of college to get their degree, and each major has a certain amount of credits you need to graduate. So I have 120 credits I need. People still, to this day, ask me what college I go to, and I'm like, it's this and it's this, period. Periodic table, Pacific Ocean, we're done. <laughs> Luckily, I took a lot of AP tests, so 16 credits transferred over before I even went into college. And now I can graduate technically in my third year if I take at least 18 credits each semester. So I need 54 right now. I'm taking 19 this semester. And then I guess the other two will be 17, 18. And that should allow me to graduate a whole year early. Why am I doing that? Well, it saves a lot of money because I only have to pay for three more semesters instead of five and i'm thinking it'll let me like focus on other stuff so i can focus more on youtube after i don't have to worry about homework while i'm doing this stuff this stuff but mainly more about the money because i don't want to pay a whole year more so that's why ap classes are actually very important in high school you should take them and you should try to get good ap test scores because it's easy to get those scores i had a c plus in ap calc bc and I still got a five on the AP test. So that, that, that tells you the skill you need. <laughs> I think they made it. So if you get a 60 something on the AP test, that counts as a four average. And they grade it one through five to anyone who is confused. And I'm trying to figure out like what other job I wanna do. Obviously I'm still doing YouTube. That is my main form of income. I would love to do Twitch full time, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. But if we wanna talk about a real world job, like a an office job, something that requires my degree. Well, I wanna try to find something in graphic design. I just don't know what, nor do I know how to apply without them judging this, me, all of this. Cause it counts, they look you up. And I think some of these titles are questionable, <laughs> but that's the life I chose. I chose to do that. It's mainly more about your portfolio. Like you wanna have a stacked portfolio and then they'll be like, okay, we don't care. And speaking of portfolio, I'm still trying to work on that and my website. If you guys want to see the stuff I did in graphic design this year, I'll gladly do a video about it. Just let me know. The only thing I talked about was the Conan Gray one, but like that was one project out of six that I had to do. And I also don't know where I wanna take this. Like, yeah, I'm painting again. This is sort of like a paint with me at this point because I'm just chatting. But what else do you want to see? Obviously I need to do the self-portrait. I know I've not done that. Please don't remind me. <laughs> I'm so sorry I haven't done it. I will get to it soon. But I kind of have no other idea what other paintings I want to do because I'm not, I'm not a professional painter. I do it for fun. That's what I have, by the way. I think I can work on this color now. It's like a grayish blue. It's not just blue, it's not turquoise it's not lapis it's actually cerulean oh god my favorite color right <laughs> a bunch of white okay i have a, a sky blue so i just need a little bit of gray just a little bit i'm literally gonna open this up take like 
one drop, not even, I literally wiped it from my finger and I'm gonna mix that part. It's like actual magic, look at that. So this whole background needs to be this color. I think I have 30 minutes of sun left, so we gotta hurry. I know I said I didn't know if I like doing YouTube anymore. I changed my mind. I was obviously being dramatic. It's not that I don't like making videos, it's that sometimes I don't know what people want from me. But then I have to remember, you need to do what you want. And this is what I have the most fun doing. I know it's surprising. I know I complain about doing painting a lot, but actually I like doing it. Obviously I like gaming more, but that's, I'm not gonna turn this into a gaming channel. Not yet, unless you want me to. I think it's fun that I can like take my passion for games and mix it with my hobby of painting because it not only helps me improve my painting ability but it just helps me make things that i can hang up around my room and michael over there but i don't know what else i want to do like i need i like cooking and i'm already gonna make some videos here for frederick's asian kitchen but you know when i go back to school it's hard to cook because obviously i have roommates i don't want to bother them and it's noisy like the refrigerator for some reason is just all the time. And that's why I'm hoping for next semester. Like I wanna get a, an apartment by myself in New York, which is, oh, that's gonna be so hard to find that's affordable. So it's either a studio for one or a one bedroom for two or a studio for two, which is basically this room for two people in New York. And that's not even a hyperbole. That's why I've debated for a while, like was it worth it for me to come back to New York or would it have been better if I stayed home, taken a gap year and focus on YouTube and streaming, which I probably could have done, but I also have to remember never would have met my boyfriend and I would have gone insane in the sense that there would be nothing to do here and I would be stuck in this room all day and I would probably lose my mind at some point because it sucks. Online school kind of sucks when you're forced to do it because of a virus. Kudos to people who can do online school, but I signed up for in-person classes and they didn't give a discount or anything because NYU is like that. They said the education you get online is the same quality as it is in person, which it is not at all. So it's just kind of upsetting to like adjust to this change and then have to do it for a year now. It's hard for me to even think that it's been a year. So as much as I like to believe that if I stayed home, I could have focused on my YouTube side more. My mental health would probably be down the drain because every time I come home, I don't get enough sleep. I fall asleep at like 6 a.m. for some reason and I'm not productive. Also, I totally just ran out of paint and had to mix another one. And those are not the same shade. Do you see that? You see that difference? No, ma'am. Mm -mm. We gotta fix that. So yeah, if you've been feeling that way too, let me know. I know it's a first world problem because I'm lucky enough to still go to school and all of that, but it's annoying just because America can't handle their shit. A whole year of our education is kind of going to waste. Yeah, I'm in New York, but I'm taking online classes and I can't even go out. So like, what difference is that than me just staying here? I could have saved a whole year of rent, but I also would have been lonely because I wouldn't be near my friends. I would have had FOMO. Obviously, I'm a cancer. We always feel that 24 seven, even when it doesn't apply to us. And I wouldn't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know and I will never know. So I should stop complaining about it, right Frederick? Yes, Frederick, focus on your painting. <laughs> Surprisingly, nah, it's still patchy. Who am I kidding? Also, I wanna say thank you for like sticking with me through all these years. I know the college transition is rough because of, it, it's harder, it's, it's harder to make videos, obviously. I can't dedicate eight hours of my day painting because those eight hours should be for studying, unfortunately. I'm just hoping by like summertime, I can just figure out a whole new way to make art videos or just videos in general. Like I'm not gonna do, I don't know if I'm gonna do art forever. I feel like people want to see like the college side, the study with me's, the wardrobe tours maybe. You tell me. I don't know what to do yet for college besides talking about how the overall year went, which this year did not go anywhere. It was just online. So <laughs> there's nothing to talk about. Oh, I also forgot like I, I kind of want to go back into photography. I did it in high school. It was my side job besides being a cashier. And, and I just stopped and I don't know why because in New York, there's a lot of people who would pay for like just a simple portrait, but I don't know how to market myself. So uh, that's one thing. And all the other photographers there are already established, but I would love to do that as my job because I, I spent like four years doing it. It would not be wise of me to let that go down the drain. Even though I quit piano <laughs> after 14 years. I also want to do piano compilations again, but once again, that's gonna be a summer thing because I can't think of a, you know, an entire track 
just off the top of my head. It's gonna take me months to figure out a compilation. So thank you for bearing with me. Okay, so here's everything. Only thing I have left is this little part. Some stuff is still patchy though, like I don't know how, but this brown is still patchy and I have to continue to fix it. So I'm gonna let this dry. We're gonna work on this part and then finish plankton and then we should be able to outline. I'm also going to rewash everything because once again, that happened somehow. And my foot's numb. God damn it. How do I? Mm. I'll just sit here until it's done being dramatic. And an update on my back. Oh, Jesus, that's how it's doing. That's how my neck's doing. It's still numb. It's been five minutes. I watched a whole YouTube video and it's still numb. Should I add shadow to the bucket hat? I don't care enough, actually. Why do I care, Frederick? You should not care. Don't care about adding shadow to the bucket hat. Okay, brushes are washed. My foot's not numb anymore. And we're going to finish this. So this actually requires some precision because it's three different shades of gray. You have light gray, gray, and then dark gray for the outline. Mm, that's annoying. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. This is done. We're gonna get another palette. Don't make that noise. Stop. That's inappropriate. Already? How has that already happened? I just. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's start off with the lightest gray. I tapped into that black one time with this brush and it already turned to gray. Amazing, beautiful. I love how annoying paint can be sometimes. And just do a checker pattern. Yep. Luckily, I don't have to do two layers of this because. It literally looks like white. And white is surprisingly the thickest paint and the most pigmented. I don't know the science behind it. All I know is that it's only white and black that are pigmented and then everything else in between is like freaking party city quality no matter what. So once it looks like that, we're gonna dip into the black again and mix it into our current mixture to get a darker gray. There we go. And I'm not gonna do the gray outline because I like myself. I don't want to hate myself in five minutes. Unless you have a dark, dark gray marker that's a paint marker, don't try it. You need the steadiest hands. And I don't, I don't have that. And I'm okay with that. And I know it's not going to make a big difference in the end. This is me learning to love myself more in the new year. It's to not make myself suffer so much. Your lines also have to be pretty straight. So gaze, watch out. You got to con concentrate on this one. <laughs> no, I am not coming for you. I'm warning you out of love because I also need to concentrate. Because I'm not known for my straight lines. Or maybe I should be. Hello? That's pretty good. Okay, that's done now. All I have to do is plankton, except I would like to take a break. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna... All right. Oh my God, I didn't turn on my string lights. Yay. Okay, new angle. Everything is dry now and I just have to do this little itty bitty part that is so irrelevant because it's like literally one brush stroke and it's done but alas i have to do it so for this we need to do some mixing because i didn't bring the green with me because i wasn't thinking so i only have these two colors hopefully it makes some shade of green so that should be good let's use my palette knife let's be fancy okay how is this more efficient am i doing something wrong am i dumb oh maybe that's how you do it wow look at me becoming fancy that's pretty close actually to the color i need yeah this is like exactly it somehow wow I am so good. Okay, basically all of this is green except for just one little shadow at the bottom of its feet. If y'all wanna tweet at Among Us and tell them I made this, I greatly appreciate it. Maybe they'll see my talent and maybe they'll see my true talent, which is making Among Us things because I was bored. That's basically it. I mean, I don't wanna paint the other part yet because I know it's gonna get messy. So maybe we should start tracing while this is drying. Now, as for my tracer, this is all I have. Yeah, I know, it's kind of sad. It's a 0.7 millimeter, so you know what I'm about to do. This is gonna take me easily an hour. If you have a Sharpie on hand, that'd be great, but I actually brought all my Sharpies home, so look at how long this is gonna take me. Mmm, don't mind if I do. I wanted to sit here all day with my butt in the air. If you're wondering why I'm doing this instead of just using a paintbrush, I know it's gonna look worse with the brush. I know myself, I don't trust myself, so I'm going the safer route because I want to love myself in 2021. I just almost made an oopsie. <laughs> you all saw that. No, oh, no, I made an oopsies. Oh my God, I made three oopsies. All right, boom, boom, boom. Three mistakes. I don't really have extra paint because I didn't think I need it. Actually, maybe I do, hold on. Okay, I might have some. I have scrapings of this color that I just managed to patch up. This, we're gonna have to fix. 
Wow, see how much better that looks with an outline? So about this. Yeah, Frederick made an oopsie daisy. I don't know how to fix it besides painting over it again. So we're just gonna do that later because I don't want to think about it. While we're here, I also have to outline this part. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, too late. We're gonna outline it then. I was not supposed to outline this, but looks like I am. What I wanted to do was outline this part. Good job, Frederick. It wouldn't be a video if I didn't mess up, right? <laughs> I'm also choosing to outline all of these checkers because I couldn't do it right the first time and they just don't look crisp and none of these are straight. Oh my God, do not tell me this is giving up already. Girl, we need you. Wake up. All right, quick break. The green has dried, so we have to add a little bit of black to this to get the shadow. I said a little. Come on, this much. Please don't do this to me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And you just paint a little circle right here. Just fill that part in. Oh, and my back is killing me. Thank you for asking. Please do not paint like this. This is not good for you. I am a good influence, parents. I am family friendly. Your children love me. Before I finish this, we gotta fix this. So we're gonna do our usual combo of blue. That's a little too much. Blue, white, and black. Long ago, these nations lived in harmony until Frederick came into the picture. I will one day figure out the right combination for all of these. All right, I think this color is good enough for the base. So just a little circle. Oh, that circle's, oh my God, that's, oh my God. Y'all need to appreciate that circle. Yes, I know the outside is patchy, do not remind me. We're not fixing it. While that's drying, I'm gonna make the lighter color, which is just a little bit more white. And I'm gonna paint the inside of the mouth. This is about right. Am I using two hands to hold it to keep it steady? Yeah, don't question the process. Now I'm just playing the waiting game. This is so boring. Can you? <sighs> While we're here, this will be a great time for me to figure out how to make this color to fix this. And I feel like I unintentionally made it already. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. That's nowhere near. Well, we'll just make our own concoction and repaint that whole thing because I don't care. It's fine. Just be careful where you put your paintbrushes in your hands because then you'll get that. It's close. It's almost there. I'm gonna need a little more black and a lot more white, like that much more. Oh, that's getting closer. Okay, I like it. Wait, did I actually do it? Why do I feel like that's exactly the same color? Did I do it? Oh my God, we did it. We did it, Joe. All right, moment of truth. That's pretty close. Do you guys see? I think it's a little more blue, but I can work with that. So just repaint everything. I'm gonna have to paint around my lines again. And then I'm gonna do the highlight for plankton, which is just a smaller circle within the first circle. Do not fuck it up, Frederick. You got one shot. Perfect, you see? And then I have to add some lines here and then we're done. That's it. We're finally almost done. All right, so I added the lines to the background. They're kind of thick. Um, they should be much thinner, but I don't have a thin paintbrush. I don't have a marker either, but overall, woo, excuse me, I just woke up. I fell asleep at 6 a.m. editing. This is what we got. I think it looks really good. I think it's cute. Um, <laughs> I can't stop thinking about the fact that this is about to pussy. It's easy to paint, and I hope you guys like this paint with me where I just talk to you guys more about what's going on in my life. I'll do more of them if you want. But other than that, that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every time I have time to post. So turn the notifications on. Instagram and Twitter are FrederickChanYT and Twitch is that gaming Asian. Follow my second channel, gaming channel and podcast channel. And fan art of the week is going to go to this person. Thank you so much for spilling pomegranate juice too. It's a great fruit, but it's really good other than the accident. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three.